Well, three different Republican offices across multiple states have been robbed and burglarized over the past week, including one this morning in San Antonio. It's being used by the Trump campaign. Joining us now is RNC senior strategist Ashley Bell with how the GOP is dealing with all these attacks. Uh, what's incredible to me, Ashley, is that most people, most Americans, probably don't know about these attacks because they've received such little coverage in the media. Absolutely. This is deplorable actions by deplorable people. You know, the RNC is doing everything we can to make sure all of our offices are, are, are safe. All of our state partners are making sure they're safe. But at the end of the day, these are people who are trying to, trying to intimidate and trying to discourage people from participating in the process. And that's something that we can't have in this country. It's a threat to our democracy. This is absolute political terrorism. By the way, Mike Pence uh, spoke to all this, in particular, uh, the office that was firebombed in North Carolina right. uh, over the weekend. Let's take a listen to him and get your response. I can't help but feel that had this been the other way around, had it been an attack in this county on the other political parties, county headquarters, that the level of national media coverage and the discussion would be significantly different. I have no doubt, Ashley, no doubt at all, that if this had been a DNC headquarters, it had been attacked, firebombed with graffiti saying, go home, uh, you know, we, you, 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 can't stop, you can't open another office here, or the same thing right. will happen. It would have been front page everywhere. I think you're right. I, I think that the Democrats uh, do their best to try to have it both ways. But right now, the focus is on making sure our officers are safe and to make sure that every American is allowed to vote. Today, we celebrate 200 million Americans are registered to vote in this country. The right. Republican Party wants to make sure that every single one of them gets a chance to vote. And when we see things like this, it's to intimidate, it's to scare people away from the process. And that's something we can't have, and we all must push back on that. By the way, on the one hand, they are firebombing Republican offices. On the other hand, look at the headline of the New York Times right now. No mention at all about the attacks on GOP offices. Instead, there's this right. headline, Trump's call to monitor polls raise fears of intimidation. You have fears of intimidation getting the headlines from the Times instead of actual attacks. We want everyone to vote. So at every poll, we want everyone to get a chance to get in line and to make their voice heard. What we're seeing from the other side far too many times is these scare tactics. These, 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 this rhetoric and these bombings are disheartening. They're deplorable. Everyone needs to get behind uh, a process where everyone gets a chance to participate fully, yeah. no matter what background, no matter what party. And unfortunately, we're seeing more and more of this on the left. And it's, it, and it's, un, it's, it's unraveling uh, much of the trust that people have. By the way, I don't know whether the FBI is actively involved in this firebombing case, uh, but these clearly qualify as hate crimes, don't they? This is beyond just vandalism. Well, it's beyond vandalism. It's terrorism. Anytime you try to use violence to intimidate people, and to disrupt society and to disrupt our political process, uh, this is what we have to call it what it is. We have to call this political terrorism. It is exactly what it is. These aren't just vandals. These are terrorists trying to scare people away from the polls and to scare people away from supporting a candidate of their choice, which is absolutely un-American, is undemocratic, and we all must stand against terrorism at all levels. And it really boggles my mind. I, I, we got to go, but it boggles my mind that they accuse Trump of threatening the political process when, in fact, the ones who are physically being threatened by these fire bombings and other things uh, are not getting called out for the same thing. We've got to leave it at that. Ashley Bell, good Absolutely. to see you. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. in. Appreciate it.